Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. I've done Hunters, I've done Titans, I guess now it's time to do Warlocks. In this video I'll be showing you my 7 favorite exotics for the Warlock, but first, I want to let you guys know that currently on Advanced.gg you can save 30% site wide using my promo code PYRO30. This promotion is only going to last the week of March 8th through Friday March 12th, and Advanced has several new flavors for their energy and focus lines such as Cherry Limeade, Birthday Cake, Gummy Bear, Kiwi Lime, Strawberry Lemonade, Strawberry Shortcake, Cotton Candy, and Grape, just to name a few. I think if I had to pick two flavors, Grape and Gummy Bear would probably be my favorite, personally. So if you've been curious about trying some supplements designed for gamers that give you energy and improve your focus, uh, you can save 30% on trying out Advanced GG this week using offer code PYRO30. And in doing so, you will also be helping to support this channel, and I would very much appreciate that. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Phoenix Protocol is the go-to exotic for Well of Radiance Warlocks. This exotic chess piece allows you to get your super energy back depending on the number of kills that you get or your teammates get while standing inside your Well of Radiance. It's very easy when dealing with champions, for example, to get three quarters of your super back, if not a full super, if your teammates also make a few orbs. This exotic is pretty much mandatory for Warlocks when it comes to Grandmaster Nightfalls, and honestly, just any time you feel like running well, whether you be solo or with a team, it doesn't matter. It's just a great all-around exotic. Transversive Steps is a pretty straightforward exotic. Sprinting for a short distance reloads your weapon. The great thing about Transversives is that you can use them with any subclass for Warlocks. It doesn't matter. Uh, they aren't locked to a specific one. This is one of those exotics that you'll get a lot of uptime with, and you will see it taking effect very often. And in most cases, for heavy weapons, for example, uh, with slower reload, like Xenophage, it's quicker to just sprint a little bit instead of actually reloading the weapon. Transversives is one of those that you put it on and then you don't really realize that you use it as much as you do, but when you take it off, you miss it. Crown of Tempests grants arc ability energy when you get kills with arc abilities and increases the duration of your storm trance. This effect can stack up to three times and can be highly effective when abilities are traded accordingly. In instances where you have a bunch of adds to kill off, you can get your super back as well as your other abilities very, very quickly. You can run Crown of Tempest on any of the three Stormcaller subclasses. I personally prefer it on a bottom tree. Sunbracers increase the duration of solar grenades and solar melee kills grant unlimited solar grenade energy for a brief period of time, about five seconds. When you combine these exotic gauntlets with Top Tree Dawnblade, which has heat rises and a ranged melee attack, it's very fun. You, you can do some really fun builds with these gauntlets. Honestly, I think that they're super underrated. Consume your grenade charge and then get a melee kill, then jump up in the air and rain grenades down on your enemies like you're a freaking AC-130. It is probably the most fun thing for Warlocks for me, honestly. Mantle of Battle Harmony is a new exotic here in Season of the Chosen, but it is a lot of fun. Kills with weapons matching your subclass element grant super energy, and when your super is full, it buffs weapon damage for the matching elemental type. There are some great builds utilizing this exotic perk that basically let you spam your super every 30 seconds or so. I'll have a video out soon showing this build as well as some other builds for other classes, I don't want to focus on those builds right now since this video is just about the exotics. Geomag stabilizers are pretty much the standard exotic for Chaos Reach. These boots extend the duration of your super and sprinting tops off your super when it's close to full. These boots are great for builds centered around single target damage like a boss or champions or something like that. And to a lesser extent, it's good for ad clear. I say a lesser extent because you just kind of kind of wave it around you know, all over the place to kill the <laughs> ads that might be running at you. They're also pretty popular in the Crucible. I've seen a lot of these boots in Mayhem. Like I said, if you're running Chaos Reach, this is the exotic you should probably be using. My final exotic is Dawn Chorus. This exotic helmet makes your Daybreak projectiles do more damage and makes all your burn effects last longer. This is a fun exotic to use with Bottom Tree Dawnblade because of the projectile tracking and getting kills with your super extends the super's duration. 
This combination allows for some very strong ad clear builds as well as some pretty decent single target DPS. Not as high as your Geomag Stabilizer's Chaos Reach, but still pretty high given it's probably a super that wasn't intended for boss damage. And there you have it guys, those are my top 7 exotic armor pieces for Warlocks. Drop a comment in the box below and let me know what your 3 favorite Warlock exotic armor pieces are, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. But, if you enjoyed this video, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe, and if you are already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.